today we're gonna do something a little bit different than our typical Final Cut Pro videos. We're gonna be working in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I know if you've been around for a while and subscribed, um, I've been sort of strictly to Final Cut Pro with a little bit of Premiere Pro videos in there. Uh, but I'm gonna start doing more Premiere Pro video for you guys. So if you're a Premiere Pro user, then definitely consider subscribing because um, there's gonna be a lot more videos to watch. Today, we're gonna do a tutorial on how to do the Beautiful Destinations intro text effect. Uh, I first saw this in their Venice video by Nainoa um, Langer, but um, they seem to be doing it in all their videos right now, which I think is actually a really cool effect. I really like the look of it. It's super cinematic and it's very different from everyone's typical um, Sam Colder wiggly text effect. So I'm gonna show it to you guys here. If you guys haven't seen it yet, um, take a look. It's pretty much just this the uh, texting. The text is writing onto the video, um, sort of self writing on the screen. So that's the effect. It's super simple, um, but I think it's super clean um, and it looks really good in all their videos. So in order to get this, you're going to want a nice script font. Um, my favorite that I've found is called Gloss and Bloom. You can download it for free. I'm going to put a link in the bio if you guys want to download it. And as you can see, it's very similar to the one that Beautiful Destinations used. Um, but it's a little bit different. It's not going to be the exact same. But it's still going to work really well for what we're trying to accomplish here. So if we hop into Premiere Pro, I have a clip laid out of a drone shot of last night's. Um, it should have been a nice sunset, but the storm was blowing in here in Edmonton. So it didn't look that good, but that's okay. Um, it will do for this. So to start off, we're just going to make a new title. So we're going to go into our project, create a new title. And then we're just going to draw a new text box, make it the full width of here. We'll make it pretty big. I'm going to center it. And I'm just going to do Canada for this example. And then change our font over here to Gloss and Bloom. And then I'm just going to make this really big because it just helps for tutorial purposes. The other thing that's going to help for this effect is actually if you increase the kerning between the letters. That's the icon just below um, the text size. And we're just going to drag that out. And that's just going to help us with the write on um, effect. Maybe that's a little bit much. Don't want it to look funny. And just space that just like so. And then I'm going to bring this down just so we can see it a little bit easier in the frame. The other thing that's going to help for this is just change the color um, temporarily and then we can change it back at the end. Um, change it to something really bright. So I'm going to do lime green, for example. Um, that's just going to help with our effect that we're going to be applying. So that is what we got for our title sequence. I'm going to drag that into the timeline just like so. The next thing we're going to want to do is create a new transparent video. So again, new item, transparent video and then drag that over top of our title sequence. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the write-on effect um, straight onto the transparent video. So if I just bring up my effects here, just type in write-on, that's gonna be under video effects, generate write-on. And we're gonna apply this to the transparent video here. So if we go over to our effect controls on the left side, I'm going to increase the brush size to about 20. I'm going to change the stroke length. So this is pretty much whatever duration you want for the shot. So for this, let's just do um, five seconds, for example. And then change the brush spacing to 0 0.001. And then the rest of it, um, we could probably leave, leave the way it is. I'm going to increase the brush size. Actually, you can see um, this little white dot that was created here. It's a little bit small. You want to make sure that your dot is bigger than any of the strokes. So if you look over at our D, there's a pretty wide stroke there. So I'm just going to bring this up. Just we're not going to have any issues um, with that whatsoever. So that looks good for our setup here. I'm going to go to the beginning of the clip. 
and I'm going to hit the um, click on right on and then click the toggle animation buddy button for brush position just like so. And for this, we're just going to drag our clip over to right before or right on the C. And this is going to be our starting point for our animation. So basically, we're going to trace the outline of the letters with this brush. Um, and then we're going to do a track mat to it once it's all done. And that's what's going to create the right on effect. So for this, we're just going to be skipping frame by frame and just moving the little brush head around the form of the letter. So try and do a couple frames in between because um, we can always speed it up and change the speed afterwards. So I'm going to hit the next frame here and then drag this up. Hit the next frame. I'm just going to undock this. And then if we zoom in a little bit, that's going to help with our tracing. Perfect. Drag that up. Next frame. So as you can see, you get these little um, heads, which we can use to manipulate the curve to make it a little bit smoother. I found this takes a little bit too long, um, and it doesn't actually help create the effect too much. So we're just going to drag, next frame, bring this down, next frame. And as you can see, we're hiding the text, and that's exactly what we want for this effect. So we're going to go down to the next letter, jump there, create a new frame, and then pretty much just try and think of how you'd write this letter if you were to write it by hand. And then we're going to trace it out exactly how we'd write it, and that's what's going to give us the most believable write-on effect. So I'm just going to fast forward this till we get to the end um, and then we'll show you the next step after that. Okay guys, so that is the effect so far. So that is all wrapped around. One thing that might help to um, that I just sort of noticed is when you're jumping from letter to letter, make sure you don't um, get any of the marker effect on the clip. Um, Cause then when it's writing through, you're gonna see a little bit of that. So be careful of that. Um, but hopefully it'll work for you guys. Our next step in this is if we hit um, our effects again, we're gonna go to the loom or track mat. So this is under video effects and then keying and then track mat key. And then if we drag this to our title sequence that we have, and then for our mat, we're going to do video three, and that is going to be our transparent video. So as you can see, the whole marker effect went away. I'm just going to close off this panel again, bring this back to fit. And then as you can see, is we get the right on effect. So our next step in this is going to be to change our title back to white. Just like so. And then boom, there is our right on effect. Um, another really cool effect, if you want more details in this, is to add a little bit of a scribble um, sound effect underneath for this title sequence. It'd be really good if you record your own audio of you writing the letters, because then it sounds um, just like the writing would. If you use a big Sharpie or something, it's going to make a lot of noise. That is really going to help. 
but that is how you guys do the beautiful desti destinations intro text effect. I hope you guys found this useful. Um, if you did, please consider liking this video and subscribing because it really does help me out and I do appreciate it. Thank you guys for all support as always and I'll see you guys next time.